meteorologist Eric Fisher is in Wheatley with a look at some of the damage. Eric, what's the latest? What are you hearing? Well, I'll tell you what, Dan, just walking around the woods around here and through some of the neighborhoods, I would say straight line wind damage, most likely the culprit around here, but it's been a rough 24 hours or so. You can see behind me, crews are still working to regain some power. A half of the town of Whaley was without power earlier today. A third of the town of Sunderland has just been an exasperating situation. We've had severe weather over and over again so far this year. And the video you're about to see is going to show you exactly why these two towns need to declare a state of emergency this morning. I heard the big crash. I come back. That was down. Then I saw that go down. Storm weary Western Mass spent yet another morning cleaning up on Sunday. Instead of the morning paper, it was raking, chopping, and just picking up after the latest round of severe weather. This time, it was Hampshire County hardest hit. This is the worst I've seen. I've heard of damage in, uh, you know, 50 years ago, but this is the worst one I've seen. A drive down Route 47 in Sunderland paints the picture. Dozens of trees on power lines, yards, and homes. Bruce Clear was watching TV with his family when it hit. Now he's covered head to toe in sawdust. Lasted about 30 seconds, the maximum force of the wind. Mm -hmm. And we literally couldn't see our neighbor's house, which is only a short distance away. Quick but devastating. Chris Coffin had no clue she would be coming home to this. My husband called and said, is everything okay there? I said, why? And he said, well, because it's not here. We just lost three trees. I said, yeah, you mean like three branches? He said, no, three trees. I mean, we just had this incredible storm. Well, in a situation like this, people often wonder what caused the damage. Well, right behind me, a pretty telltale sign. You can see that all these trees have been pushed over in one direction, and that's a sign of straight line wind damage. A tornado was most likely not the culprit here. Even resting souls were not spared Mother Nature's wrath. But the punchline is still perhaps a day or two away, and that is the bill that's left behind. Just a quick early estimate of agriculture alone was probably three quarters of a million dollars in damage. Farmers won't likely be able to tell for sure for another day or two. Well, we'll have an update on the total damage, I'm sure, in the days to come. As of right now, in terms of power outages, still 841 customers in Franklin County without power tonight. It's only about 100 less than this morning, but the timeline is for that to be solved by midnight. Crews still working. As a matter of fact, 15 crews from Connecticut have been brought in, and they're all working 16-hour shifts to get everything back in shape. Sabrina, hopefully we don't have to deal with too many more of these stories throughout the summer.